So today is going to be one of those days where I try to get several jobs done. And I'm going to start off with the one that I think could take the longest. And that is, I want to cut out a new doorway in the side of this barn here. About an eight foot wide doorway. And the reason being is that we're going to work the cattle down this alleyway right here. And then when they get to the end of the alley, we want them to turn into the barn, into the livestock handling area in the inside. So I'm not really sure how difficult this is going to be. So I'm just going to start taking stuff apart and see how it goes. All right. So the posts on this are like nine feet apart on this barn. So that would put the post somewhere right here. That wasn't even attached. It's just stuck in there. All right, I've got the screws out from this level all the way down. So now we go on the inside and we'll cut out those boards that it was attached to. Let's cut as close as I can to the post. Whoa. She uh, dropped. So I'm gonna use this metal shear to cut off these last three pieces of barn metal. I don't know, about eight feet high. It'll be right at the bottom of that next two by six up. That's gonna be the top of our door. But I'm gonna, I guess, do my best to get them cut off with this. So this shear seems to do fine when it's perfectly flat metal, but it does not like going over any of the ridges in this bar metal. And I really think, like I'm wrestling this thing, I can't get it to go over these ridges. I think I'd be better off just trying to use a pair of tin snips to cut this thing off at this point in time, and I'd probably be quicker. Ah, there's one sheet. Definitely quicker with 10 snips. Got it. It might be attached behind that corner. That would be something. Well, this last piece of metal is attached behind this corner. Oh, there we go. Success. Right there. Oh, 
there she went. Five inch ring shank nails or pole barn nails. These things are tough to get out. All right, we're gonna try the shear again. This time I'm gonna go straight up on some flat metal. Hopefully this works. I hope I measured that right. We're on. This gutter only had the straps around it. It wasn't screwed together at all or nothing. Just two straps. Okay, it's on. All right, I got the new doorway cut out in the barn. I tried to trim it out best I could. Got some six inch fascia on here. This has got rolled edges, so there's no sharp edges poking out for the livestock to get cut on. So she's all trimmed back out. I got the gutter back on. So this pole barn, the posts are nine foot on center between the posts and they're a six inch post. And with that being a corner post, the way this, this works out right here, this is almost a perfect eight foot opening. So later on, I'm gonna get an eight foot gate. I'll be able to hang it in here. It'll work out real well. So we can work, we can work the livestock down here into the barn and then sh shut the gate behind them. So I think this is gonna work out perfectly. But uh, this right there, that's all we're gonna do today. So let's go ahead, we'll let the livestock back in. You guys ready to come back in? Get back. Look out, Maya. Go, lambs. Everybody's leaving you. <laughs> there they go. You guys are all ready to go eat again, aren't you? Yeah.
So I'm gonna repair the post hole digger again, but thanks to people in the comments, I know that it is not cast iron, it's actually a cast steel. And they were able to tell that from the sparks that it threw, because it threw yellow sparks, cast iron would throw like bright orange or red sparks. So when I repair this, I'm gonna do it exactly the same. I'm gonna heat it up with a torch, but I'm gonna use 7018 rod instead of nickel rod, and it'll be a lot stronger weld. And if this doesn't work, I'll end up fabricating a whole new end to put on the post hole digger, but I at least wanna give it one more shot. We'll see if we can go ahead and cut it off the rest of the way. There we go. As I'm grinding this, you can see the difference in color of spark. So the nickel rod has a red spark. And then when I hit the actual post hole digger, you can see more of a yellow spark. Redder, bright yellow spark. I'm just gonna keep on grinding until it's all yellow sparks. That way I know I got all of the nickel uh, weld removed. Hmm. Hottest was 972 degrees. All right, it's all welded back together. Hopefully second time's a charm. So the next thing I wanna do is clean up this area over here. We're gonna be extending this gravel over to that fence. So we'll be digging up the topsoil. We'll be putting down gravel. It'll be nice to just have everything out of the way here. So I'm gonna take all of the fencing material. I'm gonna haul it down to where we're gonna install it on the far side of the pasture. I'm gonna get the rest of this equipment and junk and everything kind of here, you know, picked up and hauled away and then after that I may come back here and try to spray all these weeds and get everything killed off in this gravel area. So that there is all the scrap metal, at least in this area. This old ladder was here on the property. It's all bent up. And uh, yeah, we just keep on getting more and more. Just keep piling it up. We're gonna have to make a scrap metal run here pretty soon. Thank you. 
All right, this area here looks a lot better than when we started this morning, that's for sure. So I've only got a couple more things to move, like the brush hog over there and the post hole digger, the rest of it I need to pick up. And then this is ready. This is ready to come in here, take the topsoil off, haul that topsoil off as well, and then get uh, some new gravel down here and extend this parking area. So that'll be something that I'll be doing probably maybe in the next video or here pretty soon we'll tackle this job. So a little bit of an update on the livestock. It looks like we're gonna buy a second ram. That has always been the plan to have two rams. That's gonna allow us to separate the flock up. So like Mo, his daughters will end up in the other ram's flock and then that ram's daughters will end up in Mo's flock. It's gonna be real similar to how Pete at just a few acres farm has the two bulls and then he, he separates them into two herds during breeding season and then we'll be able to do kind of the same thing uh, with the sheep flock and right now we're planning on renting a bull probably around i'm going to say december january time frame uh, to be able to breed the dairy heifers so hopefully that will mean we will have calves like next fall so i mean still we're like a year out from having calves but we think we've got a plan in place and things are getting set in motion where hopefully we can get our dairy heifers pregnant. So it's gonna be um, an Angus bull is what it'll be. So we'll have some Angus dairy cross calves. We'll have to wait and see what they end up being. And another thing we've been discussing is buying a young bull that is freshly weaned and then bringing him here, raising him up. So he's around us every day. He's around our livestock. He's just used to us and everything. And then hopefully when, as he grows up, he will be docile, being around people every day. And if he's not docile, we'd probably just get rid of him. But if he does end up being that way, we could keep him to be our herd bull later on. So that's another, like for the long-term solution, that's one route we're talking about going. So hopefully we're getting some things in place where we will start having calves here on the property and we probably end up buying, uh, maybe next year, end up buying some heifers some beef heifers so that we have all beef steers later on but uh, we're working on trying to get everything in place it's going to be kind of a slow process but hopefully a year from now we're having our first calves and and slowly starting to have a cow calf operation small it'll be a small operation but we'll have our own for us to for our own meat and to sell to friends family and people locally but anyway i think that's going to be it for today's video i think i'm I'm gonna try to run inside and see if I can edit this and see if I can get it posted later today. So I've got a few hours. I might be able to get it done, but I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.